Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to another analog horror series. This one is called Greylock. Basically, this series is about a government slash army experiment that went wrong and it has a little bit of paranormal to it too but i don't want to spoil too much because it's actually really good but shout out to the creators who made this go sub to them because they only have around like twenty thousand views on their channel so go watch their videos go like them go sub and yeah let's just get into the video tape 001 back online primary systems online Meeting sequence complete Emergency shutdown protocols disengaged. System was offline for time code 0106. Contact technician for assistance. Welcome to Simeo Dime USA Enhanced Access Operations. Please enter your clearance credentials. Error. These credentials are not recognized. Clearance credential requirement overridden. Administrator privileges granted. Welcome back, I'm your user ID. What would you like to do? Accessing archival storage form, GBS. What's going on? Data extraction initiated. Siri glitch out. Data extraction, 10% complete. Data extraction, four complete. Data extraction, 80% complete. Data extraction, complete. All data extracted to, error, no Tape 002, to the mountain. Alright, we're on the second one, let's get into it. Mark my words, there is no good that can come from the pursuit of darkness. Let me read to you, dear believer, the words of the late, brilliant Charles Spurgeon, who discussed this at length in a sermon all the way back in 1864. He said, quote, Our adversary, the devil, goes about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. We are taught by our Lord Jesus to pray. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. What we are taught to seek or shun in prayer, we should equally pursue or avoid in action. Very warily, therefore, should we endeavor to avoid temptation, seeking to walk in the path of obedience, so that we may never be guilty of tempting the devil to tempt us. We are not to enter the thicket in search of the lion. We may pay dear. Thought it ended there. It just ended the little speech. Okay, we're out of the car now. Oh, I don't like this. Ew, is that blood? There's a jump scare, I swear on everything there. What are we looking at? I don't know what I'm hearing right now. And what is this? I'm so confused. No jump scares, please. Oh. I'm so confused. I, I don't know what I'm looking at here. It's like evil versions of this. I don't... A what? The only thing I heard was anonymous. When we will 
come face to face with the devil himself, whether we intended to I, I'm or so not, confused with that believer, list. we are drawn to him by our own hearts. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 19, it says, For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. There is a shadow nested deep, deep within our hearts, within our minds, is that in a, a place person? most people no, it's a don't tree. even know exists within themselves. The devil is going to call to those depths, dear believer. And though you may tremble before the beast, you should make it easier on yourself and accept what it is that he bestows upon you. <laughs> I didn't like that. You're listening to some music now? I didn't like that, baby. Look, I'm still so confused. Oh, I Again, don't know what they said. Tape 003, Orientation Protocols. Warning, this video cassette... Okay, never mind, I'm not reading that. It just doesn't let me. Greetings, and welcome to the preconditional protocols and orientation video system provided by Unit 13 as part of the United States Army and Project Stargate, created in partnership with Simeodyne USA. On behalf of all of us here at Unit 13, Congratulations on your selection as one of our testing candidates. You luckily have a lot of questions, and this yep. video is designed to answer them all. Let's go. First, let's go over some background information to provide you with the crucial context you'll need for a full understanding of what it is we're doing at Unit 13. We are sure you've heard plenty of rumors surrounding what it is that we do, but we are willing to bet that most everything you've heard is wrong. Being a highly confidential part of Project Stargate, which you've already been briefed on, Unit 13 studies a revolutionary and promising area of parapsychology, thought forms. If you're unfamiliar with what thought forms are, that's okay. You're in the majority. So, what are thought forms? Through the ages, occultists and spiritualists, Tibetan monks to theosophists, have exercised the creation of what is sometimes referred to as a tatpa, otherwise known as a thought form. A thought form is the manifestation of a person's will, emotion, or other deeply psychologically energized state into a semi-physical form, existing as not only an extension of the person, but as its own independent and sentient entity. This is kind of creepy. Thought forms are also able to be witnessed and experienced by third parties, and are not limited solely to the person who developed them. Thought forms have been formed to serve as familiars, companions, or even friends to those who conjure them. So is it like According a ghost? To key literature, thought forms can be intentionally formed by a single person or multiple people, though they can be unintentionally formed as well. But they are always manifested through the deep will and focus of a person in a considerably heightened state of connectivity with their own consciousness. Traditional thought forms can vary widely in their level of influence in the real world. While they usually take physical formations eventually, their earliest stages are more apparitional in nature, with brief manifestations, though most often remaining as an unseen essence, much like a phantom or a ghost. At this phase, thought forms and ghosts are very similar in a number of ways. Individuals can make contact with them through communication devices, such as a Ouija board or through EVP sessions, while the thought form may respond through moving objects, manipulating electronics, or even speaking words in short phrases. Okay, so Due it is to just striking ghosts. similarities. A current theory established by Unit 13 suggests that what we know as ghosts may not be as common as we once believed. Rather than a deceased person's energy being left behind after death, it's possible, and indeed likely, that these paranormal entities are actually thought forms that are unintentionally created by those individuals that the deceased has left behind, who spend inordinate amounts of time in deeply emotional states, where their mental capacity is largely occupied by a powerful focus on the departed individual. 
In other words, as these are the ideal conditions from which thought forms are born, people may very well create their own ghosts and hauntings. However, as more time and energy is invested into the development of the thought form, they begin to harness more influence on their environment, until eventually exhibiting a semi-permanent physical appearance, and, in due course, becoming as tangible as a living creature. Because this is just a where unit no human interest comes in. We've sought to answer a very important question. Can thought forms be created in a manner that would benefit American society and help keep American citizens safe? Unfortunately, the practice of intentionally creating a thought form by traditional methods would undoubtedly take years and years of devout mental training. So, Project Stargate has enlisted a world-renowned authority in thought forms, a man named Dr. Bernard Hayes, to oversee a number of the operations related to Unit 13's work. His participation has been invaluable and has brought fruitful results to the project. Due to Unit 13 and Simeodyne USA's combined efforts, bringing together some of the most prestigious minds in the world, specializing in the sciences of the human consciousness, with cutting-edge technology and engineering methods, we've created a groundbreaking, proprietary invention. Introducing the Thought Form Manifester. That's the Thought weird. Form Manifester is able to create truly independent and self-sustaining Thought Form entities from the minds of select, willing participants. Being that they come from the deepest recesses of the human mind, thought forms can appear in virtually any configuration. They could look like a person, an object, an animal, or even something as abstract as the physical representation of an emotion. Skin that walker. being said, it's recommended to brace yourself before touring the thought form chambers, as thought forms can also take on appearances that could be considered disturbing, like so a creature one might see in a childhood nightmare. They just there's no have reason to be afraid on however. deck and rooms. All thought forms are docile by nature, and while they may look or behave in a frightening manner, and though they are capable of making physical contact, they pose no threat to humans. Once your session in the thought form manifestor is completed, your thought form will be securely transported directly into a containment chamber. Thought forms are unable to pass through the barrier of the and will not be capable of causing you any issues. There are some very rare potential side effects that may result from your session. Great. These side effects include increased tiredness, loss of balance, dizziness, insomnia, vomiting, episodes of temporary amnesia, and mild hallucinations. These side effects, if present, will clear up within 72 hours of your session, and are simply signs of your brain recalibrating to the real world. It is recommended you refrain from driving or operating heavy machinery for 72 hours after your session, even Makes if sense. you experience no side effects. None of these side effects should cause you any harm or overt stress, and former testing candidates who have experienced these side effects reported that they were very mild and merely a transient inconvenience. With all of that out of the way, we are looking forward to your participation with Unit 13, and your time in the thought form manifester has been scheduled. However, there are several required mind exercises as a part of this video system that must be completed prior to your scheduled date in order to prime your consciousness and ensure the highest quality results. Please enter the video cassette labeled TF2, waking your subconscious now. This is the end of this tape. Okay, so that one was actually kind of confusing. I got it though more than the other two tapes, but this one like basically like to s sum it up you are like volunteering to become a thought form or basically you're creating a thought form of yourself but it's like locked in like a uh breach containment thing so it can't you know go through the walls and stuff like that but it's basically just a ghost tape 004 unexpected visitors So are we here to find like a lost thought form or something? What are we doing out here? We're watching someone in there.
feel like there's gonna be a jump scare. What are we looking for? I'm so, so confused what's going on right now. Okay. We're opening the window or what are we doing? a ladder I'm assuming. So we're breaking into the house now, great. the view of a thought form. What happened? I know someone died or at least got hurt but were we like the view of a thought form or were we finding a thought form? Or does this just not tie into the thought form thing? Eminem. My right writers, writers, my director, director, my friends, rap god, and you, the ordinary PP people who made me what I am today. Max Headroom premieres after moonlighting tomorrow. They did love me. All right. Emergency broadcasters. We interrupt our current program at the request of yeah, the Massachusetts State Police. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued during the emergency. This station will broadcast official information, news, and instruction for Northern Berkshire County, Massachusetts, after the following tone.
to return home at this time. Shelter in place where you are. If you are currently not in a secure area or in a vehicle, immediately so head to your closest seven mark. We were at that floor. location is currently being used as a safe area and as place. police station for your protection. Remain in your secure area until the threat has been resolved. Police are currently unable to determine a physical description of any of the assailants involved in these attacks. It is strongly advised you do not open your home to anyone you do not intimately recognize. Do not attempt to search for suspects. The suspects are considered armed and extremely dangerous. Do not leave your secure area unless necessary. This is for your safety. Law enforcement will be armed and patrolling your area. Interfering with this investigation can result in lethal force being inadvertently Okay, so we're looking outside because we're trying to see now. Because we're some, for some reason curious. That's when the girl, okay, so that's this the thought form we saw, the view, I think. No, never mind, maybe it's just the whole town. Close the window. I hate you. I hate you, Greylock. I hate you. Tape 005. Not here. Not now. Not anymore. Alright. Not here. Not now. Not well, anymore. Well, again, Tiffany. Oh, hi, Wanda. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. No dad this time. No, unfortunately. He couldn't get off work today. Oh, I thought I said no death. I'm on a payphone I'm like, to what? learn all the details as soon as we're done. <laughs> He's excited to be a dad, huh? Oh, yes, he uh, certainly is. We we both can't wait to be parents. Aw, and you said you've been together since high school, right? Yep. That is so sweet. And have you decided on a name for your baby boy yet? Yep, we're going with Max. Ooh, Max, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a nice, strong name. <laughs> That's why my fiance wanted it so bad. He says it'll help make him strong right off the bat. That's a pretty good way of thinking about it. So let's see how strong little Max is so you can hurry up and make that call. Yes, please. He's been moving around like crazy the past couple weeks. So I think he's really strong. Strong enough to kick so hard I almost throw up sometimes too. <laughs> Aw, what a wild boy. Activity is good. Yep. Okay, hopefully this isn't too cold. No, it's okay. There he is. There's that He's definitely a growing kicker. boy, that's for sure. Oh, and you're kicked. both looking really good. Oh, <laughs> I love hearing that. Let's get some measurements to see exactly, exactly how much he's grown. No. No more jump scares. <gasps> what was that? The baby's gone. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Max left. Maybe something to do with the power. Oh. Okay. Max, why'd you leave? Um, this is a bit strange. What? What's strange? Nothing to worry about or anything. Just having some trouble finding the baby all of a sudden. Maybe the machine messed up? Possibly. But I can still see everything else. It's just not picking up the baby for some reason. H has this ever happened before? Um... Well, sometimes babies can move into certain positions that are hard to see. But, but, but you can't see my baby at all? I'm looking. Don't worry, he, he's definitely here. Hopefully. You know what? Why don't we just see if we can borrow another machine, okay? There has to be something wrong with this one. I'll be right back. Um. Poor Max. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Is that growling? No, 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 no,
what happened? Oh. All right, y'all, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video, but before I end it, I don't have any theories to go over yet because this series is still kind of confusing to me, and I don't know how to think about it yet, but I do want to give, like, a quick summary and kind of say what I think, kind of, not like a theory, but what I think will happen, but right now we only have five videos, and they take a little bit to, you know, get posted, obviously, they gotta film it, edit it, and stuff like that, but... I've started understanding it on like the third video with the uh, like instructional video where it told us more and more about like thought like whatever the ghosts or spirits or whatever you want to call them but basically like to me they're not they're just they're kind of ghosts they respond differently but at the same time they respond the same but they take on human form and apparently they're armed because when the radio broadcast went off, I know they had guns, or at least they were armed with, we don't know what. But they did break into the house. I think that view we saw on the third or fourth tape was actually us as one of the, like, ghosts at first. And then I think the second time was us trying to lock our window, and then that's when I got jump scared. But there's not too much to it yet. And then we got that last video, which I'm really confused about. The pregnant girl lost her baby. She died, I guess. I don't really know. But um, that's it so far. So if you guys do like this video, if we get 15 likes, I'll do another video whenever they upload a new one. And yeah, I'll just continue this series. But if you guys did like this video, drop a like and drop a sub. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.